A very warm welcome back to Game Changers, a tech service show whose mandate has always and will be to bring you up to speed on trending and emerging technologies relatable and adaptable in and out of our daily interactions. Uh, we shall be looking next, or rather joining me next is Catherine Aurelia, an app developer with uh, a jury, a subsidiary of Centum Investments, where we shall be looking at how we can connect the employers to their workforce or rather how we can connect you as a job seeker to the right employer. But first, um, Catherine, welcome to our studio today. Uh, so tell us first, before we get to the main to, to, to the main point, which is connecting the employers to their workforce, mm -hmm. tell us more about Ajiri App. What is, is it all about? So the Ajiri App is about connecting employers to the employees. Mm -hmm. So this Ajiri App was born out of the unemployment rate in Kenya that yeah. keeps on escalating to mm -hmm. higher higher percentages. Mm -hmm. So we saw this as a niche that we could curb. Mm -hmm. So we came up with the Ajiri App so mm -hmm. that we can actually co uh, connect the yeah. employers to the employees mm -hmm. at an instant. Yeah. Yes. For how long have you been in existence and how has been the response so far? So the app is two months old. Two months? Yes, it's two months wow. old and uh -huh. we have already connected close to 3,000 and above people. Yeah. It's around 3,200 to, to be precise. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So we have mm -hmm. made 3,200 successful connections. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's quite a milestone within two months you've already reached a uh, 3,000 target. Yeah. Um, maybe you can tell us about what makes you different or unique. I know you have your own niche, but mm -hmm. what makes you different from other apps that are connecting employers to their workforce or rather offering the opportunities of a job seeker uh, reaching out to an employer? So the Ajiri app is a holistic app. Mm -hmm. So it encompasses both the blue collar jobs and mm -hmm. the white collar jobs. Mm -hmm. So this does not focus only on the white collar jobs that yeah. most applications focus on. Mm -hmm. So in this particular app, you mm -hmm. can even get an electrician to do a work for you for two hours. Mm -hmm. You can get a saloonist to come to your house, make your hair mm -hmm. for one hour, and then they leave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this covers all of that. Mm -hmm. yes. And so far, I've been in existence for over two months now mm -hmm. and quite uh, made uh, footsteps, yeah? yeah. Milestones yeah. Uh, in this industry. Yeah. Uh, what can you say uh, is the data that you hold? The data that we hold is just the CV, the CV of the person mm -hmm. who wants to look for our, our job mm -hmm. on our app. Yeah. the name, the ID number. We mm -hmm. also have the good conduct. We have mm -hmm. to verify that the workers on our app are not criminals. So uh -huh. that's why we need yeah. their good uh, certificate of good conduct. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then they can mm -hmm. also upload their professional and um, academic certificates on mm -hmm. the platform mm -hmm. so that if an employer needs their certificates, yeah. they can get it from us. Mm -hmm. yes. And about verifying if a um, certain employer is uh, legal, rather is a... Uh, is okay, is right. How would you go about that? Because there are people who con people on the yeah, internet. True, true. They're like, hey, send us your CV and mm -hmm. this. Send 3,000 shillings. Mm -hmm. After y you have sent everything, they tell you you have accepted you. Send us 3,000 shillings to process this. Mm -hmm. It happened to me yes, at some yes, point yes. and I was so depressed. I was so disappointed. Mm -hmm. So how do you go about verifying that a certain employer is uh, legit? So for the employers, we also take certain documents. Mm -hmm. We take your certificate of incorporation. Uh -huh. We take your care pin. Mm -hmm. We take uh, um, your ID, we, mm -hmm. ha we need a representative on that particular place yeah. so that if at all you mm -hmm. are misleading our guys, mm -hmm. we can at least report you to the DCI mm -hmm. and then now we can arrest you from that point. Wow, yes. nice, nice. All right, take us through what uh, what will be the first step that I see when I come to your website. So first, it's um, ajuri.com. Yes. But it's a Swahili word. Yes. It's tailored for the Kenyan um, audience, right? No, it's not hard because <laughs> <laughs> when a Kenyan meets a jury, it's like mm. employment. Yeah. yeah. So I, I was here on the Ajira. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the the Ajira is to make it more modern. Mm -hmm. At least we are, technology is coming up. It's yeah. A, yeah. So mm -hmm. we needed something to make it more fancy. And then outstanding. Now, yes, outstanding. Yeah. Than I the love rest. the colors. Thank you. All right, take us through. So mm -hmm. when you first log into ajiri.com, this yeah. is the whole page that you will see. Mm -hmm. So you will see ajiriwa, ajiri, those are also Swahili words that yeah. someone can at least understand. Mm -hmm. Or I want to work and I want to hire. Mm -hmm. So let's say you are looking for a saloonist or a plumber or what have you. So yeah. you'll say, I want to hire. Yeah. So when you click, I Actually, want to hire, yeah. it gives you this pop-up. Mm -hmm. So you can search for whatever service you're looking for. That mm -hmm. in case, for, in this case, you can type plumber. Mm -hmm. Plumber, uh, yes, Ian, please get us plumber, P L U M B E R, plumber. All right, Ian. 
So you can also mm -hmm. filter by area. So uh -huh. let's say you are in um, you Nairobi, are in Nairobi, Ruaka. Yes, you put that particular mm -hmm. place you want. You mm -hmm. can filter by rating. So we also. Yeah. But the, how far is your reach? Like uh, maybe someone from Mombasa can still. Yes, someone uh -huh. from Mombasa can use the app. Mm -hmm. Anywhere in Kenya, you can use the All app. All over the country. Yeah, we've wow. also launched mm -hmm. this in Uganda. Ah, nice. Yeah. yeah. So people when did in, you Uganda, in Uganda. Uh, the, the other month we, we uh -huh. launched in Uganda, so they are wow. still using this app also. Wow. Yeah. What have you done to reach uh, such a, a, a huge audience? So mostly is the marketing in media, social uh -huh. media, in TV, K24. Now we are at Metropole. Mm -hmm. Yes. So <laughs> <laughs> St. Town Foundation has been so much great to us. Ah, so nice. they are the ones who are facilitating these uh, movements mm -hmm. yeah. from different TVs and stuff. Mm -hmm. So we are, yeah. So for example, now mm -hmm. you search plumber. This is yeah. the list of plumbers mm -hmm. on in Algeria. Mm -hmm. So you see, this is a verified user. We have mm -hmm. their documents, and yeah. therefore we can hold them uh, accountable. This means we have their CV. Yes, we have their, their certificate of reckon, conduct. Yes, certificate everything. of good conduct. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if you scroll, mm -hmm. you can see like this person, Brown Malikiri. Mm -hmm. This is an verified user. So this uh -huh. one, we don't, we don't have any documents. They have not yet submitted. Exactly. Okay. So if you click on this person, uh -huh. it's your, it's, you are only liable to that. Uh -huh. Because now we, we, always uh, we always advocate to use the verified, the user. verified user. At user. At least that yeah. one we can follow up. Uh -huh. But for this one, we can't follow up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. OK, so what else? So uh, okay. this is this is for someone who is uh, looking, looking for services. services. Yes. Yeah. But now when you're a worker, mm -hmm. you'll come here to I want to work. Ah. So when you want to work, mm -hmm. it will take you to to register. Let's mm -hmm. say you're a new user. Yes. So you have to input your full name, mm -hmm. your day of the day of your birth, month and year of birth, your mm -hmm. ID number, your phone number, the mm -hmm. location, your gender, email address, and password. Mm -hmm. So with that, you'll have to log into. Your once you log into your profile, mm -hmm. now you just update your skills. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you have several skills apart from the one that you've yeah. actually read for maybe four years <laughs> or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. we accommodate three skills, mm -hmm. and now you can also put your professional ad academic um, certificate mm -hmm. on the platform. Wow. Yes. Wow. Uh, as an app developer, mm -hmm. how long does it cost you to come up or develop an app? Okay, for this app, this mm -hmm. was zero cost. This was mm -hmm. at zero cost. Yes, but now you can you have to you have to take in consideration the mm -hmm. Centum Foundation. Without yeah. them, mm -hmm. this app wouldn't be known in Kenya. Mm -hmm. So they're the ones who facilitated us to reach different different areas, mm -hmm. to reach out to different people yeah. and at least get um, help them mm -hmm. uh, get jobs via the Ajiri mm -hmm. app. Yeah, yeah, but making the app zero cost. Wow. <laughs> okay, because you're working with them. Yeah. yeah but <laughs> what if I were to come to you, yeah. you know, separately, you know, side hustle, yeah? yeah. Uh, how much would you charge to develop an app for me? So different apps have different capabilities, different mm -hmm. functionalities. Yeah. So it depends with what app you're coming to me that mm -hmm. you need me to make. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So for example, you need one that, that's a POS system. It's direct. Uh -huh. And you can even look at another app mm -hmm. that's big, needs various functionalities. So that will be costly. So it yeah. actually depends on what you need, mm -hmm. um, what you need for the app to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does it take like uh, maybe a month to make an app? With the How long does it take? With the workforce, this was made in 11 days. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So wow. We, we can do that in less than a month. In less than a month. Yes. Wow. Mm. All right. Yes. And what are some of the challenges that you face as an app developer? Uh, the challenges is that meeting the requirements of the users. Mm -hmm. I can meet you today, you tell me you want the Ajiri to work this way. Yeah. I go and meet someone else mm -hmm. who will tell me this is how I want it. Mm -hmm. So this app is supposed to meet the blue collar requirements and mm -hmm. the white collar requirements. Mm -hmm. So that is a huge, that's a huge difficulty that we're still going through mm -hmm. because um, a white collar would need uh, requirements and maybe other requirements on the app. Mm -hmm. But yeah. a blue collar is, a white collar would be easy. Mm -hmm. A blue yeah. collar, sorry, would be easy. Mm -hmm. I just need a plumber, come and do this, yeah. finish it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For white collar, I need your CV. I need these and these, I need mm -hmm. these and these, yeah. So actually you have a variety of services that yes. you guys offer. Yes. Yeah. For example, if you'd allow me, I talk about the My Hustle button. Mm -hmm. I actually have a show called The Hustle. Focus ah. on small businesses. Maybe you can link, uh, link us to some of you. Uh, we need an email here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Where is the keyboard? Okay. Uh, what's the email address? Uh, uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. She is tech survey. We have a keyboard here. Yeah. Aurelia. 
Kraft vor ihm. Okay. Yeah, yeah perfect. There. So oh, beautiful picture. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. So when you look at something like my hustle, mm -hmm. this is something that someone does mm -hmm. at their own free mm -hmm. time. So you can have um, you can have <laughs> You can have it's different okay. hassles, like yeah. this is bohol accessory supply. Uh -huh. So this is someone maybe who is supplying this, mm -hmm. but again working somewhere else. So this mm -hmm. is advertising something for you as you do something else. Yeah. Yeah. So this is what this app actually provides. Mm -hmm. So you can have someone also selling the laptop. Yeah. Also, this this, this particular hassle button mm -hmm. has also seen people getting jobs via it. Mm -hmm. Because you can see someone who is, like, let's say solar installation. Mm -hmm. Then there's a, there's a scenario where someone posted, um, mm -hmm. I, I know how to sell solar installations. Uh -huh. could, could I uh, come and help you in sales? Yeah. And the person was employed So it's a way of hooking them up. Yes, yeah. it's still a way of hooking mm -hmm. them up. So how do you go about these? Uh, do they have to pay something for them? No, to this is free. Yeah. This is free, actually. Free? This is very free, yes. Wow. Uh -huh. Yeah, courtesy of <laughs> Centum Foundation. Uh -huh. So this is what you'll just do. Post uh -huh. a product. So you say the title. Uh -huh. Then you describe what you want, the uh -huh. price. And then if you have a file, like the pictures you have seen, yeah. so you upload them, you upload for them example, there. For example, maybe blow dryer. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. mm. Okay. Then you submit. Yeah, then you so submit. So it's uh, sort of buying online. Yeah, buying online, mm -hmm. yeah, advertising. You can even put your saloonist, you put your work there. Nice. Yes. And how do you go? Uh, there are so many cases of uh, hackers mm -hmm. going around, conning people on mm -hmm. the internet. How do you go about uh, securing data for your clients? So first, I'd, I'd like to say that there's mm -hmm. no system that's 100% secure. But uh -huh. with this particular <laughs> app, we mm. were, I'm a cybersecurity specialist, mm -hmm. so I know what hackers look for. So uh -huh. those are the potholes that I keep on blocking each and every time to uh -huh. ensure that no one gets uh -huh. data, the data what of What is people. this that they exactly look for? Uh, so that <laughs> they can be, you can be aware of them. Okay, yeah. that could be more technical. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a tech show. Yeah, yeah. Tech you show. see, yeah, for, for example, this is ajiri.com, it's hosted on a particular server. Mm -hmm. Then you have like 65,355 ports open. Uh -huh. So that those open ports, mm -hmm. they are things that people will probe so as to enter our server and get the data. Mm -hmm. So as we only have specific ports that are open for mm -hmm. specific services. Then you mm -hmm. shut them down when you don't need them. Yeah. So that's one, just one <laughs> of the examples of how to sh wow. shut them out. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. I think that's a really quite tech service. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> actually, you guys are doing a good job, and okay. I believe those people who do who do this hack stuff, I think that people who have understood how technology works. Yeah. Uh, c can you say there are people who have done IT? Uh, Hackers, hackers are diverse. You can yeah. find most of them are IT, mm -hmm. but there are others who aren't IT. But actually, I think what leads to these uh, people sort of um, diverging or resulting into hacking mm -hmm. is because mm -hmm. there are no jobs. Yeah, there are no jobs. So I think they, they resort to stealing the money. <laughs> <laughs> you know, All the right. easy way yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and actually, I think uh, that is something the government can do with it. Exactly. What do you think about that? Yeah, but the government released the Computer Crimes Act mm -hmm. just the other day. So yeah. that one, mm -hmm. actually, um, it, it curbs this particular hacking game. Yeah. Because within it, there are rules mm -hmm. that you should follow. If yeah. you hack, you get unauthorized access to a computer, then uh -huh. you are liable to mm -hmm. maybe five years imprisonment. So yeah. would you just steal data, like my CV, in, on a jury, it and then no be sense. imprisoned for five years? Absolutely. Yeah, it doesn't no make sense. sense. Yeah. All right, <laughs> and that is uh, something that we shall be looking into when we come back from this short break. We shall be looking at introduction, rather have an introduction to cyber security. This is something that we'll be doing each and every uh, third Tuesday of the month. That is every third week of the month with the Centum Investments. And uh, we do hope maybe someday, one day, they'll come on board and sponsor the show. But for now, we take a short break. When we come back, Brian Mwau, uh, lead cyber security at uh, Tribus, a subsidiary of uh, Centum Investments. We take a short break. We'll be right back.